Welcome back to my channel. In this video, you'll see the process for making a penguin. And let me just warn you, it looks like many things before it ever looks like a penguin, but trust me, just bear with me on this. The first step is to sculpt the head and feet. And for that, I always use Super Sculpey, but any polymer clay or hardening clay will work just fine. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't necessarily like this one much, but I decided to go through with it anyways for a couple of reasons. The first one was experience. I've never sculpted a bird before, so I didn't expect it to look perfect or exactly how I envisioned it. Second, I was a bit discouraged throughout the process because it just looked a little odd to me and it just was, I wasn't really feeling it at all. But I stuck with it and in the end it sort of resembled one, I hope so anyway. I wanted this to be a lesson for you guys to not give up if it's not turning out exactly how you want. It's all a learning experience and you'll never know how something will look until it's completely done. So just stick with it. I mean... This thing went through looking like a naked mole rat to a naked bird before, before finally sort of looking like what could be a penguin. So just stick with it, you never know where it's gonna go. After everything is sculpted, it's time to build up her body. For that, I use long strips of quilt batting and wrap it around the wire over and over until the body is shaped to my liking. Quilt batting sticks to itself like velcro, so there's no need to use glue or tape or anything like that. After the body is built, it's time to cut the fabric out. I wrap a long piece around her body and cut slits where I want the limbs to go through. I trim that to size and sew straight down the middle.
For the limbs, it's pretty much the same process. And once I reach the body, I will use a ladder stitch to join the limb and body fabric together so it's nice and seamless. After that's done, it's time to trim all that fluff. I use a pet shaver to trim everything and once I get the bulk fur off, I go back in with some scissors to do a detailed trim and get anything that the shaver couldn't get.
am painting a rough guide for the markings of the penguin. I'm doing this so I know where to start and stop each fabric color when I start gluing it all together. If you'd like to see how I apply fur to faces, it's available on my Patreon page. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a site where you can pledge a certain amount to support artists and you get perks and rewards in return each month. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. The last step is to airbrush the little body gray. If you really want to follow this along and make one yourself, I suggest just buying light gray fabric. The only reason I'm airbrushing is because I buy all my fur white and so I have to. But it's a lot easier in retrospect if you just got light gray fur to start with. After all that, she's done. If anyone's interested in this little oddball, she is up for adoption on my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you're interested in adopting her. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this. 
If you enjoyed it, why not drop a like? If you'd like to see more, maybe consider subscribing and comment below on what you'd like to see in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. She is up for sale. I'll leave a description. I'll leave a description. I will leave a description. I'll leave a description.